ChatGPT is just the beginning. Here's how AI will shape the future. Okay, cool. So, thank you so much for having me today. Um, let me go back. My name is Megan Nilsson. I go by Crypto Megan. And actually, usually I'm up on this stage talking about where we are in the overall market in crypto and NFTs and what's to come and how excited I am for the future of crypto and NFTs. And today I have the honor and the privilege of opening the AI stage here at AIBC. And I'm so excited because I've been experimenting with this so much. And this technology is going to literally revolutionize our lives as we speak. And in fact, it already is doing it. Um, when she asked before, how many of you believe in AI? Well, so many of you have already interacted with AI and not even been conscious of it. Um, I even fully believe that one day, keynote speakers will have their own avatars. I have my own avatar. I'll be speaking to you up here like this. In fact, this is a prototype. How am I doing? <laughs> You, you literally won't be able to tell the difference. That's where we're headed. And I believe that it's not going to replace what we do now. It's going to enhance it. And it's going to take us places we can't even imagine. So thank you for being here today. I'm going to go over a little bit about that. Um, I, my background is I am a high-end crypto and NFT consultant. I'm currently on a world speaking tour, educating about crypto and NFTs, the market, investing, strategies for brands, and now AI, and how to incorporate AI in whatever it is that you're doing to elevate your business and take it to the next level. So we should start with the basic definition of what is AI. There's so many things, catchphrases floating around, and, and so many different definitions or perceptions. And we're just going to start with a simple one, which is basically the ability of a digital computer to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings. And it's frequently applied to the project of developing systems endowed with intellectual processes. Basically, what you need to know is it's characteristic of humans, and it has the ability to reason, discover meaning, generalize, and learn from past experiences. Many would call this machine learning, where we're at now, because true AI really has to kind of interpret the information that's been given and learn from it. And we are on our way there, but we are in the very beginning stages. So I asked ChatGPT. I know a lot of you have said you experimented with this. I highly urge you to experiment with it more because it is really exceptional. I asked them, what is artificial intelligence? And they basically gave me the same example. And um, <clears throat> they say it's allowing them to perform tasks that previously required by human intervention. The goal of AI is to create machines that can learn and adapt from experience and that can perform tasks autonomously without being explicitly programmed to do so. Therefore, think on their own based on the input that they get. And then I asked, can you explain it for a fifth grader? <laughs> That's the cool thing about ChatGPT. You can literally ask it anything. And so it kind of tells a story about it. Do you know what intelligence means? It's like being really smart and knowing a lot of things. Um, so that's what AI is in a nutshell. It's teaching a computer to be really smart and to do things that only humans used to be able to do. Cool, huh? So it can literally give you examples of anything on any level of anything you want to know. It's, it's revolutionary. I do want to know how many of our, are you using chat GPT in your normal lives today for your work purposes, for any kind of purpose? Okay. <clears throat> So just a few statistics about AI has 175 billion parameters, so it's highly unpredictable. And what it's doing when you ask it a question is it's analyzing all of the data and sorting through and basically predicting what the answer should be based on the input that it has. It works with companies from Twitter to Disney to Grammarly and writes articles and runs chatbots. And it reaches 99% of people, yet most people don't even know it exists. That's why I said, if you don't believe in it, well, you probably already interacted with it. And it probably gave you a better experience than you would have had with a customer service agent who's superly overbogged with work, not having a great day, frustrated. Um, it makes the experience much more streamlined. And, um, Chat GPT-3, for example, powers Jasper, which writes content for your blog, website, copy in, much, much more. And it's worth over $1 billion in just the first year alone. Um, another version of the AI uh, is called Co powers Copilot, which does a large chunk of coding. So there's so many different things 
that it can serve and ways it can help. So this is just a chart of how long it took to reach those 100 million users uh, compared to other applications like TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest. As you can see, it was the most highly, fastly adopted application of all time of all of them. I mean, this is truly a revolution upon us that's already started, even if most people haven't realized this. So I'm going to discuss, these are the topics I'm going to go over. So I already discussed a quick um, kind of overall a, a definition of what AI is, AI tools, what are the benefits, some real life cases which are super cool, brands that are actually using AI now to elevate their strategy. And also, I want to touch on what if AI becomes sentient, meaning what if AI becomes conscious? What does that mean for the human race? Elon Musk has touched on this a lot, and he's also touched on his fears of that. Um, so I also want to finish with the future of AI. So it's going to be a really amazing uh, presentation today. Um, now I'm going to play a video for you, which is from one of the movies that actually inspired my new logo, Crypto Megan. Um, not the same, but inspired by, because this movie, Megan, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but it is very indicative of kind of like the fears or the things that could happen, both positive and negative with AI. So I'm going to play you a few clips now. Studies indicate that a staggering 78% of a parent's time is spent dishing out the same basic instructions. Oh my god, Katie, you have to flush the toilet. It's not that hard. So he found someone else to pick up the slack. Katie, flush the toilet. Flush your hands. Roll up your sleeves. Great job. So if you've seen this movie, basically, Megan, the avatar, she is designed to help parents not feel so bogged down to be a playmate to your kid, to help educate. She's a good listener. She's a great babysitter. Um, in theory, it's actually absolutely incredible, right? It's cost efficient. It's a one-time cost. It's somebody who looks after your child, gives them company, companionship, and it will happen. I'm convinced that this kind of thing will be happening in the future uh, as she's able to kind of realize the input and get better and better, smarter and smarter. She helps her learn. She educates her. She does all the repetitive tasks that parents don't want to have to do to free the parents' time for them to be able to spend quality time with their kids. However, one thing goes wrong, and it's what I discussed before, is that this AI becomes sentient and it starts working in its own um, as according to its own goals and doesn't really take into consideration the dangers that that might have to the outside world. So once this Megan doll starts working in her own um, self-interest, things start to get a little bit crazy. <laughs> Megan? Baby doll skill, don't provoke us or we will go. Shut her down. Jesus Christ, I thought we were friends. I have a new primary user now. Me. <laughs> so that's just like something for you to visualize, you know, people's fears and what Elon Musk has been saying about AI becoming sentient. Uh, just that is way down the future, but this is the this is the future. We will have AI robots, there will be somebody up here like me giving this keynote speech, maybe even better than I'm doing with more facts and more information to share with you. And that's so cool. And so I think we should embrace, embrace this technology. Here are some of the tools that people are, are using actually right now. Cresta, which is an AI engine that listens in real time to customers' needs. Jasper, which helps with coding. Textio, which drives digital transformation. Um, I'm going to keep going because I don't have a lot of time, but I want you guys to see these, the power of these tools. Synthesia. How many of you have heard of Synthesia? Raise your hand. Synthesia is revolutionary. It allows you to record yourself, make yourself an avatar, and upload any text you want to it, immediately translate it into all languages in the world. In fact, in one of our companies, we're actively working right now to build a course this way. You literally, you record yourself for 10 minutes talking against a green screen, and you can have your avatar read all of the course materials. You can edit it easily. It takes out edit costs. It is absolutely incredible. Um, they just raised $12.5 million. This is one of the most powerful tools for companies right now, in my opinion. Um, it turns code into video. So once the video is pr produced, then you can just upload all of the text, and the AI avatar will speak the text. Um, this is just a quick example of how that works. 
Deepfake technology enables the creation of video, image and speech without the need for cameras or microphones. Instead of recording video, you can generate very realistic looking fake content using computers. This is similar to the visual effects that you know from Hollywood. But AI is making it faster, cheaper, and much more accessible to create. So she's an avatar, she's an actress that they uploaded as an avatar, and she can literally do a whole training course for your company. You can upload the text and she will go all through it. You can edit it anytime you want without having to hire expensive production costs and things like that. Um, this is a, another deep voice uh, fake. I, I actually don't have much time to do this, but it's kind of just showing how if you upload the voice to somebody that even the AI voiceover can work. So you can add your voice to any kind of avatar and it's absolutely incredible. Um, so how will AI voice help with all overall industry? Flexibility, cost efficient, and inclusivity. Now suddenly, a brand can upload a presentation and anyone in the world can listen in any language. I mean, how much would this have cost to do this in other terms for a company? I mean, we'd have to exclude whole regions and whole languages just because we don't have the resources to do this, and now we do. So um, here's some of the top use cases for ChatGPT. Um, it can do A-B testing, content generation, coding, fraud detection for banks, um, customer onboarding, um, analyzing customer sentiment, all of these things it can do. It can even summarize medical records. Um, I'm out of time, so I'm gonna go to the last two actually live examples. Fiat and Kia are using ChatGPT to sell cars in the metaverse right now. So you can literally go in the metaverse, have a look at all the Kia cars, and talk to the AI robot who can answer all of your questions and help you pick the car based on your personality, on what you like, what you don't like, all of that. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And just as in closing thoughts, um, you know, in the years ahead, the most ambitious leaders will rethink fundamental questions about the risks they can eliminate, and the business leaders of the world are going to start repositioning their companies to integrate AI, and it's going to just be as if it's another seamless addition to the layers that we've been adding to the technology, and it's going to do so much. So I have a lot of information in this presentation that I wasn't able to go over. Um, I am going to upload this presentation to my Telegram group, so if you'd like to see the presentation with all the tools and all the examples included, you can scan the Telegram group. Um, I actually upload every day um, new things about the market, uh, opportunities, passive income, stuff like that for my private group. It's normally 500 euros a year, and I would like to give back today for all of you being here to allow that to you for free. So please feel free to scan. I'll upload this presentation so you can watch it in your own time. There's a lot of good details in there. And um, thank you so much for hanging out today on my AI chat. Thank you, Megan. Fantastic. Well, I'm specifically thrilled about the next panel. My dear panelists, can you please come closer to the stage? We're waiting for you here because I know that panelists have very specific.